So let's let x of t be a real valued signal. And this signal x of t has a Fourier transform, x of omega. And we are told that x of omega is equal to zero for all frequencies omega greater than or equal to 2,000 pi. So this is just a given of the problem. We're told that the Fourier transform is equal to zero for omega greater than or equal to 2,000 pi. We are going to find the Nyquist sampling rate, F Nyquist. So one thing to be careful here is we are asked to find the sampling rate in linear frequency, in the variable F, not radial frequency in the variable omega. So first, let's take the max frequency of our signal and convert it into a linear frequency. We're told that our signal has frequency content that stops at 2,000 pi radians per second. So the maximum radial frequency is 2,000 pi. If we divide that by 2 pi, we can convert it into a linear frequency of 1,000 hertz. We can now compute the Nyquist rate. We have a very simple relationship that relates the maximum linear frequency of a signal to the Nyquist rate, and it's just a factor of 2. So F Nyquist is equal to 2 times F max. So this is 2 times 1,000, which is 2,000 hertz.